A new app is providing pet parents and dog caregivers a new tool for finding dog-friendly routes, live alerts to keep them safe, and also helping them socialize with other dogs, too. Pet Sitter of the Year, Dan Reitman, is here to tell us how to make dog walks fun, safe, and social. Dan, thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning, Aubrey. Thank you so much for having me here. So tell me, are pet owners showing a greater appreciation these days for walking dogs versus maybe their attitudes in past years? Um, I, well, I can tell you from experience, our clients have been beyond appreciative. Obviously, with the year that we had, it was, um, it was an interesting impact on our industry. A lot of people obviously were working from home, but we have a lot of clients who really are unable to get outside. We have some that are immunocompromised. We have elderly clients. We have some who are working in medicine. So we were those people coming in to take care of those dogs, and they were more than appreciative. And we've been lucky enough to have some incredibly supportive clients who, even though they didn't directly need our services all the time, they were still incredibly supportive of our business. So our clients, honestly, animal people are the best people. <laughs> Dan, and I don't want to leave out your friend there. Who do you have with you? This is the wonderful Princess Leia. She is not my dog, but she is one of my friends and my neighbors and client's dog. She lives a few floors up from me here in Brooklyn, and um, she is an Appen Pincher. Wow. And she is an absolute <laughs> mush ball. Oh, she very cute. She is like a fan favorite. <laughs> yeah, she's very a Very cute. Oh, she, look at her. She's just loving the spotlight. All right. So what are some of the things oh. that dog owners do enjoy when they do take their walks with pets? So in terms of the Pawway app, it's, it's really, it's ways for dog walking, right? So it's a free app for dog caregivers that provides both sides with dog friendly routes, live safety updates, and the ability to really socialize with other dogs in the community. So it's currently available for iOS and it's coming soon to Android. It's, it's, re it's a really, really cool platform. Yeah, because there, there can be some nuisances sometimes that you can run into when you take your dogs out. Oh, for sure. I mean, there's all sorts of things. I mean, I know you guys in California run into the issues of coyotes. They have a coyote alert. So before you go out for a walk or even during a walk, you can check the app and see if there have been coyote sightings nearby. You can take a look at the personalities of local pets because as a pet owner, when you have the Fallway app, you could rate your dog from friendly to aggressive. So for caregivers like myself, being able to see the dogs that are in the community, it allows us to ensure that we are having the safest and most stress-free stress -free walk for the dogs that we're with. Right. It's going to be way more enjoyable if you're not stressed out about running into any hazards or other, oh, or yeah. other animals that are not so agreeable with yours. And you were named Pet Sitter of the Year. Obviously, you're a caregiver for dogs and, and animals. So you're also an ambassador for the app that you mentioned, Pawway. So you see it's like ways for dogs. I mean, why is it getting that comparison? So you're familiar with Waze, it, a lot of the content, a lot of the information in the platform, it's user generated, right? So you can see things on Waze, like where there's a, a, a speed trap or a police officer or things like that. It's that concept, but applied to dogs. So you can see things like one finding friendly uh, dog parks nearby. You could find where there is fresh water, poop bags. You could see where the recent dog it is user generated data but it is such a valuable tool for both dog owners and their caregivers. It just makes life, it takes a lot of the questions out. You get to know, all right, this dog park has had some dog fights recently. Maybe I should stray away from that. Or this dog that's up the block from here might not be dog friendly. Let's, let's turn it around because, you know, when you're out with a dog, every dog has their own personality. And not every dog is like this little lady here <laughs> who's just calm at all times. You know, you've got rescue dogs who might be a little bit fearful of other dogs. You might have some dogs that are leash aggressive. And you just don't know these things. Paulway really puts all that information in the hand when he's using that app. And I think as someone who's been doing this for over a decade, it is it is a very, very, very well implemented and super helpful platform for everybody in the pet space. Yeah. Tell me, do you think that an app like this was needed? Is it a good solution? 
I think it's one of those things that people might not realize it was needed until they happen. Mm -hmm. So at least for me as a dog walker, it was definitely needed. One of the, my favorite features on it is they have something called route mapping. So for me, we service dogs in Long Island, Brooklyn, and Queens. And those neighborhoods are very different here on the, on the East Coast. But what it allows me to do is if I'm coming into a neighborhood that I'm unfamiliar with, I put in the exact time of the walk and it's gonna give me a perfectly routed map so that one, I might not overdo it with a dog. I'm able to kind of maintain our schedule and make sure the dog gets home on time. We can get to the next visit. But there's just so many features that the system has that adds tremendous value to both pet owners and caregivers. Any other features that you find really useful when you use it? Well, definitely the, the routing feature. Um, but the one that I really love is when we're out on a walk with our clients' pets, you know, it's great for them to be able to see when and where we walk the dog, right? But Paulway goes a step further because there's platforms that do GPS tracking. Paulway goes light years beyond that. So I can mark when and where a dog pooped, when and where a dog peed, oh. their favorite spot to sniff. They get an adorable little report card. Yeah, poop is a, is, is something we talk about a lot more in our professional lives than I think most people do. <laughs> but it's definitely something that we, that's a text and a call we get, I'd say on a daily basis. How was the dog's poop? Did the dog poop today? So it's definitely part of our daily vernacular. Well, yeah, it's part of the health, monitoring health. And are pet owners really uh, excited about this? I mean, are you getting some great feedback? We are. Um, so we, we recently started rolling it out with um, our team members on Long Island as well in Brooklyn. And the clients love it. It's it, They get an adorable little report card at the end of each visit with the marks down if they pooped, if they peed, all the things that they did, a picture of the dog. And it's something that at the end of the day, it, it keeps the, the client more aware of what's happening. You keep more connected with your pet because you know, caring for someone's pet is different from any other home service. You know, electricians and plumbers, they do amazing work. I don't know how any of that works, but I know that when it comes to taking care of someone's fur baby, people are very, very particular. They want to know exactly what's going on because, you know, these are living things and people want to know that they are being cared for with love, compassion, and, you know, the number one thing is safety. They want to know that their dog is leaving the home healthy and coming home healthy. And that's what this app really allows people to do and it keeps um, the pet owners aware of everything that's going, going on step by step. All right, Dan, good information. Thanks for joining us this morning. For more about this dog walking companion app, check out pawway.com.